Today has been such a beautiful day and I actually just got back from the beach. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll some clips before we get into this haul. at the beach. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but it is so peaceful. like where I live but all of my neighbors like their dogs just like roam he's really cute they don't really ever go anywhere they like stay in their yards and he's cute he's a cute little dog anyways I digress so I hope you guys loved the beach clips um what was that but I just feel like jumping right in today like just no intro other than the beach um, I picked up more of these. It's pretty boring, but they were just like on my shopping list. I thought I'd show you guys. They're the mailers. They're new at Dollar Tree. So I picked up quite a few of those. I also found a brand new wall border. These have been one of like my most recent items to check out every time I go to Dollar Tree. So this one definitely struck out as new to me. It has like the little ice cream border, which is so cute. It's part of the teaching tree section. And I junk journal with stuff like this. So I think this is gonna be a cute one to kind of like tuck away and use for like a summertime themed journal of some sort. So I got that. I also picked up these little items. I, I know I've hauled the pencil holder. I just don't know if I've hauled this little organizer with the gingham, but, and they also have this. I'm guessing, yeah, it's a card holder. So super cute if you have like your own little office space or take it to work with you um, if you love the gingham look. But yeah, so this is new to Dollar Tree. They also have this in like a marbled, like a pinky marble thing. Actually, did I get the matching? I think I did, yeah. So I ended up finding this folder. So they have this whole set with this like combination here. And then I found a folder with like all three of them together. And I really love when Dollar Tree does that. I love when they give us, um, you know, the same patterns and things for other products so that if you wanted to kind of have like a cool collection, you can. So this is just a three ring binder folder. We've got the pockets on the inside, so that's really cute. It matches that. Um, all right, next up, I decided to get another one of these banners. I've hauled this before. And only recently though, did this like come into my, to my wheelhouse for junk journaling. There goes a little dog. He is so cute. Um, yeah, so I really like the size of this little banner. I think it could work really well. It is felt by the way. So if you're just like following me on my junk journal journey and you joined me for in my last Sunday live, I'll link it down below. Um, the end was hilarious. We were, we were crazy in the end with, um, boarding the alien mothership. So for those of you that don't know, a bunch of us are going to hightail it to Montana and catch a ride into outer space. So if you want to join, just comment, let us all know. We'll, we'll swing by and get you. But if you just kind of want to follow the things that I buy from Dollar Tree, grab this and I'll show you guys how I'm going to use it in my junk journal. That's the gist of where I was going. Then I found more of these metallic bags, but this is the first time that I've seen them in this color right here. 
and I'm shook to my core because this is stunning. I've used a bunch of these pink ones. Now, as you can see, these are actually two slightly different shades. This one's slightly lighter. I've used this hot pink one during Christmas time, loved it. I wanna use it again for my love journal for Valentine's Day, but this blue, actually, are these, yeah, these two are different colors. I don't, it's kind of hard to tell, but this one's also slightly lighter. So I had to get a bunch because I'm going to definitely journal with these and yeah, can't wait to use those. They are so pretty. Um, all right, next up, I did pick up several cards. So I'll just show you guys. Also, whenever I check out, I turn it like this just so that's like easier for them to scan. But I don't know why I got this. It's just so cute and adorable in the overalls with the little rubber ducky and this card is very pretty in person i don't know if you can tell but the yellow detail has sparkles on it and then you've got the glitter trim as well around the card it's just so pretty in person next time you're at dollar tree just go pop in and look at it because it's really cute and then i picked up this one how gorgeous is this with the hearts kind of coming out of this floral wheelbarrow this i'm gonna pull for my junk journal as well or if you're just kind of like in a scrapbooking or friend mail and things like that this could be really cute to kind of deconstruct um then i picked up this beautiful yellow card with the teddy bear i don't know if i've hauled this one there's been so many teddy bear ones but this one is just so simple and beautiful I'm obsessed with this and there's just a really faint like dust of glitter in certain spots like the yellow and the white gorgeous and then the last card this card is really cool I don't know quite yet what I want to do with this but looking at it alone and the fact that the card is this lime green or the envelope is lime green i'm loving that it's kind of matching off of this part this card is very much inspiring me and it makes me want to do a whole journal with like these colors i don't even know and i'm not really a fan of using purple that much but i really like this whole thing so i gotta figure out what i'm gonna do with this card because this is stunning i'm definitely gonna go back and grab one more so that's on my to-do list then I picked up this little crafter square DIY wood. Now for me, like you see how I turn my books around and I like the more neutral, natural look. I really like this as is. Like I feel like you don't have to DIY it if you don't want to, but it would be really cute, cute to like paint the bunny, spray paint it or whatever so and then you can just obviously do whatever color works best for you so i like that dollar tree gives us that option i thought i grabbed a second one did i not probably not is it maybe did it fall out in the car maybe i didn't get a second one but i did find these what this one says garden and the colors like all the colors that they did i only found these three comment let me know if there's a fourth one that's missing because dollar tree usually does everything in fours but i don't even know which one's my favorite this blue one with the little sunflower here and the ladybug on that one then we've got a flower and a snail the details are so beautiful they nailed it the bumblebee and then the little like yellow daisy these are absolutely amazing and i feel like even though they're kind of slightly big two things center of a wreath or in a tear tray somehow like i feel like depending on the size of your tear tray these could work out so i'm obsessed with that all right next up i did pick up this like egg garland is this new? 
I don't remember this from last year. Now I know they've done these like little spackled eggs before and they just have them out there like individual eggs and they're so beautiful, grab them to your tray. But this garland style, I feel like I don't remember it. So this could be a brand new 2023 item. So keep that in mind. And I think it's just the perfect size for a tear tray. But if you want it to like kind of go on an entryway table, depending on the size, you might want to, you know, consider buying multiples so that you can like tie them together and then string them along one whole side, whether you're draping it on, you know, shelf or like your fireplace mantle. So I love that. Um, I also picked up these star sequins. It's been a very long time since I've seen these and I'm talking, it has to have been like two years since the last time I saw these and they have them in black, blue, gold. Um, for whatever reason, I just decided to go with red on this trip, but I should have picked up the other ones. So I'll probably will. All right, next up, I have no business, none buying this but here we are in the bridal section wedding section they have these new hair ties so this one says the bride in white and it's just so cute like this just does not look like it's from dollar tree you know if you're the maid of honor and you're having to put together a gift basket like it's probably pretty expensive to be a maid of honor um so here's this one that says bridesmaid so cute and then i found the this headband which let me just let me live out my fantasy okay for like two minutes just let me put this on my head and then we can all go back to how we were which is me being single you know so let me just put this crown on my damn head and um feel some type of way okay i have my hat on but you know the hair is not doing it but remember when i said that i was gonna go um to the spaceship and get abducted by blue aliens um i think we should take bridal supplies because I'm gonna want to live out that fantasy even on another planet okay it's the one thing from earth i gotta take with me um and then i found party shot glass rings this is the coolest thing i think i've ever seen at dollar tree this is brand new there are three in here for a dollar 25. like i'm honestly shook that they gave us multiples because i feel like for $1.25 for one, I feel like people would buy that, but we're getting three, that's amazing, love it. And that's pretty cute. All right, next up, I picked up more of these flashcards. You guys already know how much I love them. Those are the colors that you get. So there's that. I also picked up these little counting chips. My memory saying there's a chance I've seen these and hold them, but it's also saying that they're brand new. You know how I am. I just can't give you um, correct data, but these are really cool. I love them. I've got to somehow figure out how to junk journal with them, but I'm feeling like this is obviously probably for like bingo cards and things like that. Speaking of bingo, ironically, and the two were not found in the same section, but I found that they have restocked the road trip bingos. It's been a while. I think the packaging also looks slightly updated, but they have road trip bingo and they give you the dry erase marker, which is so genius because then you can wipe it away and start all over and you don't have to like lose the board. You also get tic-tac-toe on the back. Like they are really using every space perfectly. And then this one is a summertime bingo maybe like you take it to the beach with you i don't know but i wanted to show you guys if that's also at dollar tree okay next up i found this item right here i would definitely go grab this for the easter baskets this is super cute it's final action which i've never heard of it but it's all over dollar tree they have the figurines they have other little trucks and 
and weapons and all kinds of things. Um, but this is the Arrow ATV. This is the first time they've put this out at Dollar Tree. So this is definitely a new item alert, or at least at my stores. It could have maybe like, it could have showed up at yours like a month ago. Um, all right, next up, another item, toys that I think would be great for the Easter basket are these dinosaur 3D puzzles. These are definitely brand new to Dollar Tree this year and it's just what it says. It's a 3D puzzle. So it kind of like looks like Jurassic Park and then you just set up your little, not your little, but your dinosaurs. Super cute, shows you how to do it. I also really like the packaging, it's very slim. So if you have to do more of a care package instead, this will be great and it's very light so it's not gonna, you know, do any damage to shipping costs in that aspect. Um, all right, next up I found super adorable little novelty notebooks. This is something that I wish we would get a little more often than we do from Dollar Tree, but when they put them out, they are always so cute and worth the grab. So we've got a little dinosaur and it has like a faux leather stitched embroidered thing going on. Or not embroidered, but it's like a faux leather stitch into this journal, but it's Jot. And then the shark is probably my favorite. This one is really cute. I love the color combinations, very vibrant. And then what? What the, what the hell is this? I, oh. Are those the ears and antlers? Can someone tell me what this is? Cause is this supposed to be a llama? I, I don't really know. But the color combinations on that is really cute too. So if you're just either, you love to collect notebooks, these are new to Dollar Tree. All right, then I found some new paper clips and they are by jot like let's look at this jot label because it says corner office by jot so i'm feeling like we're gonna see this just make a whole appearance at dollar tree and i'm very excited to see what they do so far all i've seen is this um these have like a rose gold so we've got the heart clips paper clip with a star and then the arrow telling you jaw is my absolute favorite and nothing will ever change my mind about that all right next up i found these momoko stickers they've been at dollar tree for and they actually have dollar tree's warehouse information on them so i'm just like this label is i don't know what to make of it but they are really cute and has like a little fun candy theme to it and i like the colors too so if you need to do like a last minute Valentine's Day gift for tomorrow, you pick that up. I also found these stickers. I don't know why it ended up my cart other than it just like I time traveled back to the 80s when I was in elementary school. And these look like the scratch and sniff stickers. I don't actually know if they are. I don't think they are, but they are really cute. And I found this from Crafter Square. So again, if you are following my junk journal with me, go find this because I'm definitely going to use it in my next live. It's so pretty and it spells out love, which is perfect. And ending this with some horoscopes or astrology. So I found two notebooks and then a sheet of stickers. And I, yeah, this is also brand new. So we get everybody in here, comment, let me know what you are. I'm a Capricorn, Mike is a Sagittarius, Megan's a Gemini. And then I found these little notebooks, which it says the astrology notebook or journal. Very pretty, I love the gold foil. So in the front of the journal, there's just a lot of astrology information here, which is really cute. I think this would be adorable for gift giving. And then there's also this blue version that says this is the astrology guided journal that will talk you, ta take you on a self-discovery through your own birth chart. That's something I would like to kind of get into is like my birth chart, my birth chart. I can't talk today. It's not, I'm just gonna be quiet the rest of this.
But that's it for today's haul. I hope you guys loved everything. I'm probably the most excited for these. I'm going to use these this coming Sunday. So if you want to join me on YouTube live here on this channel, I'll be going live at 3 p.m. Central time. But How are all these people having all these cool powers, all these cool outfits? Like, what am I doing now? We should play the new Harry Potter game. So... Anyways, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I don't know what's coming tomorrow quite yet. I feel like it's, it, I don't know yet, but it's probably gonna be a Dollar Tree related video. So I'll see you guys then. Bye.